naval product at Safran Electronics and Defense. Uh, I will talk today about uh, our uh, decoy launchers uh, solutions. We have two, uh, the NGDS uh, two-axis launcher and the uh, TAGE uh, one-axis launchers. Before uh, going uh, into the uh, solution by itself, uh, let's come back uh, on what happened and uh, what we are wanted to be protected against is all these threats. Since 30 years, almost 30 ships have been damaged by anti-ship missiles or torpedo. And you know, more recently, uh, in the Ukraine war, uh, Russian vessels have been sunk by uh, uh, two uh, missiles attack. Okay. And what we think, uh, because we talked a lot about the decoy, the efficiency of, of the decoy. Yes, it is very important. But also we, we have to keep in mind that the coordinated missile attack is also a new fact we need to take into account to develop the protection on the boat. Then it has been explained that missiles are evolving very fast, very quick, like the speed. Huh? Uh, it, uh, we see uh, how it is difficult more and more to track a missile because of the stealth, because of the speed. They are increasing. We can see now hyper hypersonic uh, missiles. Okay, uh, The stealth of the missiles is a challenge for the radars. Uh, and uh, as uh, Xavier said, uh, the missile seeker are more and more complex, including more and more technology, RF technology, infrared, uh, electro-optical, laser technology, maybe sometime controls from uh, a ship, an aircraft, but also now from the coast, uh, when it is uh, controlled by uh, optic fiber or by uh, designator. Uh, then, Regarding uh, these uh, missile uh, sensors, in addition to that, uh, let's say engineers think about more and more in, uh, to put intelligence into the missile, okay? They are knowing the quality and the default of the decoy and they adapt. They adapt and they work on that. And then, one key of the efficiency, it has been said many times uh, today, but is the representativity of the decoys uh, in many aspects. It's not only one aspect that has to be taken into account, but many aspects. Uh, and from, let's say, a decoy launcher perspective, it is important to be able to launch and be representative of all these aspects. We talked about the shaft, okay, the so shaft discriminator, uh, uh, seeker are here. Uh, all the uh, decoy parameters are analyzed now by the seeker, and then we need to have the capability to launch very representative decoy. We talk about hard kill, we talk about soft kill, but what our customers are talking about? You can see here that the decoy, then the soft kill solution, are more and more interesting different navy in the world. We gave here some examples. Uh, we are working on the, at Safran. Uh, what we can say, the most recent uh, event for Safran is the selection of the NGDS for the Canadian Navy. Okay, uh, It has been selected in the dual axis uh, trainable launchers. Um, we are also uh, working with Denmark and Netherlands, which are uh, interested in two trainable launchers, two axis again. In the uh, middle, in the UK, uh, there is uh, also an interest for trainable launchers, two axis launchers. Uh, in South Korea, uh, we are working with the Dagai system uh, for the new uh, destroyer KDX. It is a one axis launcher and so on uh, in Singapore, dual axis uh, trainable launchers, and in Australia, ten trainable launchers, which means, uh, from our point of view, the Navy uh, re realized that 
to have a high efficiency because missiles have high efficiency seekers, we need to be very agile and to have the mobility okay, to put into the air the right protection uh, compared to the uh, right missiles uh, direction. And the decoy launchers uh, has to uh, launch into the air the decoys uh, with uh, the capability to protect the, the ship against all these uh, uh, missiles coming uh, from the air to sea and to under the sea. Uh, it is important to understand that uh, the time is divided in three phases, the launching phase, the inertial phase, during which, let's say, the missile do not emit anything, only infrared, uh, and you know uh, that Safran has uh, infrared search and track system that can detect the missile between the inertial flights. Uh, and during the tracking phase, then it is where the uh, um, RESM antenna and so on try to detect and to catch a missile, to identify the seeker, and then to launch the correct protection uh, into the air after this identification. And then the launcher has to be able to uh, launch into the air the correct decoy, depending on the size uh, of the time. Then before the launching, uh, the system is processing the threat. What is it? Is it really a threat, a threat or not? Then it can take the decision, the decision to, let's say, not launch uh, particular action, but only uh, dilution. For sure, when uh, the missile is launched, things happen differently. During the launching phase, in the case uh, we can launch, uh, identify it more in advance, we can work on the initial guidance phase and launch distraction rocket, quite far distance rocket uh, that are uh, sent from the ship, and if it is not, let's say, enough, uh, uh, after the guidance uh, phase, we can, with the decoy launcher, launch uh, the seduction mortar with radio frequency and infrared mortar, or also uh, anti-laser mortar uh, that are available on the NGDS and the TAGAI system. Then the decoy launcher has to be uh, compatible with the strategy of the Navy, whatever the phase of uh, the attack. Then the, the sea skimming missiles, uh, what are the key factors to be able to be protected against these missiles? Um, then first, it has been said, we need intelligence to identify the missile. We need a trainable launcher with fast reaction time in order to be able to deploy accurately the decoy into the air compared to the ship, taking into account the wind and all the parameters of the system. And also the capability to address multi-threat because now the world is multi-threat, coordinating missiles, it is uh, more and more dangerous. The credibility of the decoy and for sure the affordability, but let's say uh, when you see these assets, uh, it, uh, it is a high value uh, to have a good protection of uh, uh, this, uh, this vessel. Just one word about uh, hard kill and soft kill. Everyone knows and heard about okay, the system, the guns, the missiles that are uh, launched against arriving missiles. Okay, all systems are quite a bit challenged because of the speed of these of the of the missiles, because of the evolution of the seekers and so on. Then things are moving fast. And uh, um, if you uh, can uh, remind one point uh, regarding this slide is 
Hard kill, ends of kill, can they put, be put together? I think the answer is yes. It increases the probability of survivability, but it, will, it requires some cautions, okay? Because you need to pay attention that one system do not disturb the other system. To have one plus one equal two, and not one plus one equal 0 0.5, okay? And what we think, and I think Lacroix uh, think also, is the shaft is not only uh, a difficulty um, and, uh, and, uh, and a weakness uh, to be detected by the seeker uh, shaft discriminator, it is also a, a weakness in the case you need hard kill and soft kill in your, uh, in your ship, okay, to not disturb and interfere between the both systems. It is an important point. And the corner, the corner reflector for that uh, do not uh, disturb the hard kill system radar and so on. And Safran uh, is, uh, has a long lasting reputation. And since uh, more than 40 years, we are developing one axis or two axis uh, trainable launchers. And uh, we have a worldwide uh, customer base and uh, our system are installed in more than 20 Navy. Okay, you can see here uh, the large range of the decoys with one axis to two axis launchers. The Dagai uh, system, which has radio frequency mortar, infrared mortar rocket for the destruction. And also, uh, we are considering the anti-laser mortar, the CBOSC. Uh, to be installed on the, on the Dagai. For the NGDS, uh, it is a dual uh, axis launcher. Uh, it is interesting to, to know that it has uh, a very high capability to receive uh, lots of protection okay, from rockets, dual rocket mortar, the same, the same thing but in a stealth format, and also NATO format. Then the versatility of the NGDS is a very interesting uh, characteristics of this decoy launcher. Then this configuration A is rocket only. The second is a mix between rocket uh, and mortar, which means you have the destruction and the seduction. You can recognize rocket and mortar here, which means it is uh, in a configuration capable of destruction and seduction. And this configuration is a concept we are working on also to include some NATO ammunition because our customers are also looking for uh, uh, NATO ammunition because they are used to that and so on. And then they ask also capability uh, to use different uh, ammunition. And just to finish uh, the presentation uh, from Safran uh, regarding the electronic warfare, in fact, in Safran, uh, in a way uh, similar to Thales, we start from detection with the infrared solution, which is uh, a mean, which is uh, a complement, uh, which uh, is uh, an additional mean of detection. Uh, regarding sea skimming missiles, for example. Then we are uh, involved in the detection up to the decoy, then the protection of the system. And in between, okay, uh, we offer a standalone uh, and easy to install uh, uh, decoy launchers. But in general, our customers are willing to manage uh, all the integration of the decoys into their, into their boat, then we can adapt ourselves uh, uh, very easily uh, to... That is another version of the coil launch. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you, you see, we, we have launched, we have sold uh, two, 150, we have, we, we have equipped, sorry, 150 boats, and then uh, every customer is keen to have a dedicated uh, uh, configuration, in general, connected to the decoy itself, okay, because depending on the area, the enemy has 
uh, capability which differ from one uh, area of the world to another. Okay, then they prefer, they have their preference, and we uh, just have to adapt our uh, carrying system uh, to the customer. One.